If you're watching this video, you probably want to drill your own water well. And I'm going to briefly summarize the six main ways you can do that. There's a lot of confusion and it's hard to figure out exactly what you're doing when you first start out on this. I work in the well drilling industry, so it's very easy for me to summarize exactly what you need. So your options are like this. They've been drilling wells by hand for thousands of years. You take a shovel, you go out, you dig a hole in the ground about three foot around, and you keep going until your feet touch water. This is a lot of work, as you may imagine. It's also kind of dangerous because the walls can collapse on you. And it's limited by the fact that the deeper you go, the farther it is to pull that dirt back out of the well, and the more dangerous and more risk of cave-in there is. So if you have to go more than about 20 or 30 feet, it's really not a great option. You can do deeper than that, but it's not recommended by pretty much anybody. Next, you have what's called a well point. And now you can drive a spike. It's about a four foot long, two inch diameter spike in the ground. You just keep adding lengths of pipe to the top of it. And you just put a hammer and you go bang and bang and bang until that pipe disappears. Again, you keep doing this until you can suck out water. This is also limited by the fact that it only can go about 25 feet or so before it won't work anymore. This is because you have to suck the water out of the hole which means the type of pump that you're able to use will not really be able to pull water deeper than that because you're going to use a shallow well pump for this and they're limited to about 25 or 30 feet at most. So this is also a lot of work. I mean, you're taking a sledgehammer and you're going bang several thousand times to get this down there. And sometimes it doesn't ever work. And sometimes there's no water down there. So this is an okay system and it's fairly cheap, but it's a lot of effort and is no guarantee of success. The other option that you can use is called jetting. And this is where you take a water hose and you hook up to a length of pipe, usually two inch pipe. And you just kind of hit like this and you just kind of push it in the ground. And gradually the water blows the sand back away and you just keep going deeper. And you can rotate it with some little teeth on the end. And you can just keep going deeper and deeper and deeper. This is also limited by the fact that you can only go about 30 or 40 feet before you start getting real problems with getting the water out and pulling up the mud out of the well. Also, the major limitation with this is obviously it's blowing out sand. It doesn't blow out rock, and it really doesn't blow out clay all that well. So unless you have a very easy well and a very shallow well that you need to dig maybe 20 or 30 feet, none of these first three options are really all that practical. Now you can do them, and they are fairly cheap, although they are usually labor intensive. But if these options won't work for you, then you have to start at the other end. And so we're going to start at the other end, we're going to work our way back down from the most expensive and back our way down. So on the other end, you have hiring a professional. Just, you go to the yellow pages, you dial up somebody, you say, come draw me a well. Now they usually charge between $10 and $40 per foot, and they usually won't even talk to you if you don't go at least 100 foot deep, and they like to go through your four or 600 feet deep. So you're looking at between four and $15,000 to have a professional drill your well. That's about the typical price, and your average range seems to be about six or seven. This may or may not include the pump afterwards. So this is a big chunk of money, but there's very little headache involved. You pick up the phone, you say, come drill my well, you write them a check, they're gone, it's done. Now, I hear horror stories every day from people who have professional well drillers drill them wells, and they either overcharge them, they go deeper than they really needed to, they don't case it right, and the well caves in later. But by and large, if you pay someone to drill you a well, you're likely to get a decent water source and not have to think about it too much. If you want to do it yourself, the most powerful method you can use is probably the deep rock or the hydrogel system. It's basically the same thing as the different brands. What that is, it's a derrick that sets about here. It's about this big around, and it has a big motor on top that twists the drill stem. On the bottom of that drill stem, you're going to have a bit, fairly, fairly complicated depending on what kind of bit you get. And you're going to have a big pump that pushes water down through the pipe and blows water out the bottom and up around to get your tailings out. This requires a large settling pond, something on the order of about you know, 20 or 30 feet in diameter with a big piece of plastic laid down in it. It takes a lot of area, it's quite a bit of mess, and it's a lot of work. And again, I work in the well drilling industry and I hear a lot of horror stories about what happens with this because you're dealing with a metal drill stem that drill stem drops 100 feet in the ground, 200 feet in the ground. You're looking at having a couple hundred pounds of pipe in the ground, which means that there's a winch attached to the system, yes, but if you slip, if the winch doesn't quite grab right, all of a sudden your well stem drops when you're trying to pull the well out, and it's down 50 feet in the ground, how are you going to pull it out? A lot of times you never do get it out. So there's problems with the system as well. Also, you're looking at between the absolute minimum you're going to be paying for a system like this is about three grand and up to about five or six, depending on how hard or dirt you expect to drill through. And so we're back in the range of just paying someone to come do it for you and not having any headache. So this has been around for about 50 years. It does work. The main advantage is that people can use it over and over again. So if you need a bunch of wells, or if you and your neighbor both need wells or whatever, it's a decent system. Now don't get me wrong, it does work. But it's expensive and it is a lot of work. It's very heavy. So in the well drilling industry, there's a big gap between the 20 or 30 foot wells that don't cost you very much, but are really labor intensive, and the four or $5,000 wells that do cost a lot, but do get the job done. So there's that big gap there, and that's why I come in. This is what we do for a living. So this is our well drill. 
Now this is an air powered motor, which means that you hook up this air hose to a large compressor and this to a piece of PVC pipe. This air hose comes down here and it spins this bit like so. And then the exhaust from the motor goes up the pipe and that creates a suction so that water is in the hole is blown back up and at the top. So it's the opposite of the hydro drill in that it blows water down and lets it float out. We blow our water down the outside and let it come back up by the power of the air. I drilled a well with this drill last year to 175 feet deep and I did it in 25 hours. Now that's a little bit above average to be honest. That's actually a pretty good time. I've been doing this for a long time. But we drilled through sand and a fair amount of clay and a little bit of rock. This drill will drill rock. Now I'm not going to pretend it's as good as a $100,000 machine. That's obviously not. But it will drill through it. I've had customers who drill through solid granite. But it's extremely slow in those kind of hard rocks. We're looking at half an inch, maybe an inch, inch two inches an hour max. But if you're drilling in clay, you can get between three inches and three feet an hour. If you're drilling in sand, you can get between five and 25 feet an hour. Like I said, I drilled 175 feet in 25 hours, and a lot of that was sand, and I did it on an average of about 25 feet per hour. Now, one of the main advantages of this drill is that you can pull this drill out, check the bit, sharpen it, put it back down the well, all in less than five minutes. No other drill on the market can do that because if you pull out the hydro drill, you've got to crank it up, tighten it down, loosen it out, crank it up, tighten it down, winch it up, and you're spending two or three hours just pulling the drill. So if you have a problem, the well starts to cave in, something goes weird down there, and you need to get the drill out of the well in a hurry, all you have to do is just start pulling it out. The pipe is flexible, so you can just have somebody walking over the hill with it, and you just keep pulling it out hand over hand, and you're out of the well in 30, 40 seconds. So it's very flexible. The whole drill here with the bit and everything weighs less than 10 pounds. So you can pack it in some place where you can't get anywhere else. You can do it behind a house in a residential area. You can do a lot of places that you could not get a real well drill or a professional rig in there. So it's extremely portable, extremely lightweight. The only thing it really requires is a large air compressor. You have to be able to put out at least 16 CFM at 90 PSI. And that's usually about a 7 or 8 horsepower compressor or more. Because that's the power source. That's what turns this. The more power you have, the better it's going to work. If you start dropping below that, your drill's not going to run as well. So, this system I've used to drill 210 feet deep. You can drill through solid rock, but it's going to take a lot of time. If you have to do a lot of solid rock, to be honest, I would recommend that you just go to hydro drill or deep rock or just get a professional to do it. This is going to be extremely tedious. But if you're doing anything else, sand, clay, a little bit of rock, then I think this drill is the best option on the market. Now, obviously, I sell this drill and so I'm a little bit biased and you really can't trust me. But, do the research. What I've listed for you here today are the main options and they are the main strengths and weaknesses of each system. Look into them. See what the cost to do it in your area. See what you really need to do. I think you'll find this drill is the best value out there. I did. Because that's how I got started in the first place. I didn't wake up one morning and say, I want to sell well drills for a living. I woke up and I said, I need a well. And so we looked around and I did the research, the stuff that I just summarized for you. I did all that. And I found that there was just nothing in my price range that would do the job I needed. We couldn't just go 20 or 30 feet. We had to go deeper. And I couldn't afford to pay $5,000 for a well. So we spent the better part of two years developing this drill and making it so it would drill through all these kind of soils and designing ways for the water to come up here and the air to come up here and everything to go like it does. And then other people wanted to buy it, and so we started selling these, and that's what led me to where I am today. So visit our website, let me know if you have any questions, and maybe by this time next year you'll be drinking water out of a well that you drilled yourself.